This is the empirical formula of copper iodide lab. Copper can exist in two oxidation states, copper one and copper two. The main objective of this lab is to determine the empirical formula of the product between copper and iodine gas. The second objective of the lab is to determine the theoretical mass of the copper one or copper two iodide that is produced based on stoichiometry. And the third is to perform a percent yield calculation based upon the experimental results. And of course, your empirical formula and your balanced reaction based upon that. So to get started, what we need to do is to measure the copper foil. Now that we have the copper foil measured, very simply what we're going to do is place the copper foil into the Erlenmeyer flask where the salt of the copper and iodide, a redox reaction, will form. Now I'm going to place iodine crystals into the flask and this chemical will be in excess. Iodine sublimes at room temperature into iodine gas. We're not measuring the iodine crystals because it's going to be in excess. And once the iodine forms, that molecular compound will react with the copper at the copper surface to make the copper one or copper two iodine. Stopper is inserted to form, to make sure there will be an equilibrium between the iodine solid and the gas, keeping the gas at a constant concentration. We will let this sit for a period of time to allow the exchange of electrons between the iodine or between the copper and the iodine. And over time, the salt will appear on the outer edge of the copper. And we'll make some calculations to determine the copper iodide formula, which is the major objective of this lab. In order to do that, we're going to need that initial mass of copper that we, did, we started with and we're going to have to figure out how much copper actually reacted to get the mass of copper. And we're going to have to figure out the mass of iodine that reacted. And that's an important piece to solving this. Because once we have the mass of the copper that reacted and the mass of the iodine, we can convert those to moles and do a mole ratio.
couple observations you can make here is that the flask is getting purple, which is due to the iodine vapor that's resulting from the solid subliming. And you can see that the sheen of the copper or the shine of the copper is dissipating as the iodine vapor acting as the oxidizing agent is pulling electrons from the copper resulting in the copper iodide on the surface. So we're going to have an ionic, a dull ionic compound that coats the surface. Upon inspection of the copper, and of course the iodine vapor does make it a little more difficult to observe, but that sheen, that luster, that shine is gone as I see a dull compound over the copper surface. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the top and carefully take out my copper and of course the copper iodide that has resulted on top of it. I don't want to lose any product because what I want to do now is I want to mass out the copper and the copper iodide. See the copper that reacted with the iodine vapor is still on the copper and the only extra atoms I really should have on this copper foil, this rectangle, is the iodine negative that's part of the copper iodide. So if I can take this careful um, piece of uh, rectangle copper that has the copper iodide on it without dropping any particles of copper iodine and mass it out, then what I could do is find the mass of the iodine ions, right? The addition, I can find the mass of the iodide that reacted and that's part of the formula here. So I'm going to carefully open this up. And if you notice, there is some deposition that occurred. Some of the iodine has recrystallized. There's my, see the dull compound. Okay, I've got my mass of the copper plus the copper iodide. So what I want to do now is I want to take off I want to take off copper iodide and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash it off and dry it.
Let's make it all of the copper iodine off. Just trying to dry it. I'll try to get, reclaim the copper or the copper that's left. And we get our shine back because we remove the, the copper iodine. Make sure that's nice and dry. Some people can employ a hair dryer, but good, good drying on a paper towel works just as well. And now we're going to mass out again.